Hey everybody, Jillian here. Welcome back to my channel for a brand new Bible journaling process video. Today I am going to continue to work through the Common Carol devotional kit from Illustrated Faith. And today I am on the song Make Room by Casting Crowns with Matt Marr. And I wrote some of the lyrics here in the, um, in the Tia, and these are from the chorus and what stood out to me most. So I'll work from here. And then I pulled some supplies, which I'll talk about later on in the video. I do want to mention that there is a really great reading plan on the YouVersion Bible app. And it's a five-day reading plan with devotional material. I know, one more devotional type thing to add to your Advent schedule. But it's only five days, and it's a pretty quick read, and I really think it's worth the time. So if you go to, I'll leave a link down in the video description. I highly recommend it. So that's a great read. I hope you'll check it out. I'm occasionally asked how I choose which Bibles to work in. So I have a standard, um, this is the NIV Journal of the Word Bible. I'll link something similar down in the video description. I don't think this one is available anymore, or if it is, it's hard to find. I like to use this one. It's getting pretty filled up. And then I also, over the summer, got this Interleaves Journaling Bible, and I just um, create in both Bibles concurrently. So if I have a lot that I want to say or I want to feature, you know, big elements in my Bible journaling, then I will typically opt for the Interleaved Bible. So you can see here I have like almost, um, I have almost like a scrapbook style entry for this page, just taking advantage of the whole blank page in here. I wouldn't try and fit all of this in the little two inch margin in this Bible. Here's another feature that I knew would only work well <clears throat> in the Interleaved Bible, and it's this uh, waterfall journaling featuring patterned paper and these um, like typed journaling on these cards. Again, I'd have to cover up a lot of the text in this Bible in order to make something like this work. But today, I want to journal in John 8, and I have room in both Bibles on that page. So, but I haven't decided which Bible that I want to use yet. So, I'm going to make that decision once I look through my supplies and figure out which elements I'll use. And then today, that's going to dictate which Bible I end up creating in. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, I'll start by clearing off my work surface and cutting out the things that I know I want to use. So, I have some pieces from the Common Carol kit here, like the sticker, some die cut pieces, the stamp backer, the TN sticker sheet, and that really fun washi. These are the Wonder Journaling Spots from Shauna Noel in the Print and Pray Shop. I've got these Advent Numbers from Tamara Arcilia and this pink patterned paper from Shauna Klingerman's Advent release last year, I believe, which has been re-released in the Print and Pray Shop. So I kind of had a color palette in mind for this. I'm using teals and a couple different shades of pink. I love using these 100 days toolbox words. I have these printed on clear sticker paper and I think I used them in my last video. Um, so that's why they were on my desk and handy, I guess. Um, so my friend Vanessa has this really cool idea to cut out individual letters that you want to build words. So they're all different sizes and I really like that look. So I'm going to do that for the first half of my title, but believe it or not on that whole sheet of words there was not the letter K. So I went through my alpha sticker stash and pulled out these older homespun alphas to um, go ahead and spell that word make. Next, I'll start by drawing a wonky heart onto this patterned paper, and then I'll go ahead and trim that out. I did have a little bit of pencil marking left on there, so I went to erase that, but then forgot that when I print, the ink smears off really easily, so I kind of have like this faded spot <laughs> on my heart. Oh well. Next, I'm going to figure out which card I want to use to go ahead and type some of these lyrics on. So now I've got three large elements that I know I want to use on my page. This number six, the heart, and then this journaling card. So these are three pretty large elements, and I don't even have my title or my journaling on here at this point yet. And I wanted to add a die cut Come and Carol kit. I'm just indicating that the verses I'm journaling are on the bottom there. 
So this right now is just too many large elements for this page. <laughs> so it's looking like I'm going to move over and create this entry in my interlinked Bible. All right, there's the verse up in the top right. No chance of covering it in this guy. Now I'll go ahead and start layering my pieces. They won't end up like this, but this is close. <laughs> Next up, I went ahead and cut one more heart out from this little speech bubble in Shauna's set because there was just too big of a gap from this teal home to that pink heart, and I needed something else to fill in that spot. I also decided to not use the Come and Carol kit sticker. Instead, I'm going to use these really cute um, like banner flag type things peeking out from the top of my journaling card. I don't know what those jazz hands <laughs> were about just then, but starting to come together here. Now that I have an idea of where I pretty much want things to live, I'll go ahead and staple some things together with my tiny attacher just to cut back on the amount of tape that I'll use, and then I'll start taping things together also. All right, now I have one big cluster that's just one piece, and it'll be a little easier to maneuver. And then I forgot to actually finish trimming out this card. So, whoops, I'll do as much as I can and then get this guy placed down. So that looks pretty good. I'm using an older advent stamp set to build my title. And so I'm stamping the phrase, Oh, come let us, just nestling it underneath that journaling card. And then the next half of my journaling or my title will say make room. So oh come let us make room. And I'm just using each one of these individual letters to spell that out. And then I'll use these really fun um, Heidi Swap alpha stamps to stamp out the last word in my title. I really like the variation in fonts with these. All right, that looks good. I'm deciding to use the tab sticker from the TN sticker sheet instead of running that um, die cut backer through my tab punch, which I will totally do later. <laughs> and then I want to include some of this washi somewhere. So I think I'm going to put a big old strip of it right across the top of this journaling card. Next, I'll go in with some of these fun mid-century icons, I guess, um, from the stamp set. And I'm using a bright pink ink to put those in a few places on the page. Now that I've got the largest elements down on my page, I'll go ahead and add a little bit more journaling. So in my card, I just typed out, um, is there room in your heart for God to write his story? You can come as you are, but it may set you apart. When you make room in your heart and trade your dreams for his glory, make room in your heart. So I'm journaling here in John 8, verse 37 where Jesus is saying to this group of Jews gathered around him, I know that you are offspring of Abraham, yet you seek to kill me because my word finds no place in you. So I just kind of rounded out my title, Oh, Come Let Us Make Room in Our Hearts for Christ Jesus. This page is just looking so plain to me, so I ended up going in with some of this black and white cross washi tape and just tearing off some pieces to add around, um, just to add a little something extra. And then over here on the right, I'll use the Illustrated Faith Highlighter washi tape to create like a partial box around the verses that I'm journaling. And then I have this little bit of tag left over from the other side of the page, so I added it here. And that's going to do it for, I think, what is this, day six of the Coven Carol devotional kit from Illustrated Faith. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want more Advent inspiration, I'll link the playlist with all of my Advent projects on there. And be sure to follow along with the Illustrated Faith Advent tag. Also, I'll put that on the bottom of the screen here and down in the video description. I love seeing people's beautiful pages and everyone's takeaways from the different devotional materials that we work through. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend, and I'll see you soon.